Hi and welcome back Focus Fanatics. This video is going to show you how to create a menu item filter. A menu item filter is basically a group of menu items that have similar attributes. Depending upon how you create it, those attributes can be a common canvas, a concept, course, meal stage, printer group, etc. It can even be a combination of multiple attributes. Uh, menu item filters are used for various reasons. They can be applied to discounts, used in packages, or they can be used to quickly change menu prices for a certain group of items. Maybe you're going to increase the price of all your beers 25 cents. Uh, menu item filters allow you to find the beers quickly and then quick set the price to increase 25 cents. So let's walk through the steps of how to create a menu item filter. Uh, simply go into setup and then once you are in setup you're going to want to navigate to menu and then menu items and down here in the bottom right hand side of the screen you're going to want to select the find button. Uh, it's going to default to this screen if you simply want to find items one time then go ahead and use this reserved canvas here. Uh, to select your filters. For example, if you wanted to find all the items on your beer canvas, you could simply go over here to type, click the down arrow, select canvas, go over to items, select beer, and when you select find, all the items that are on your beer canvas are going to display. It also works for you know, different concepts, courses, meal stages, you can select menu items, modifying canvases, printer groups, priorities, report groups, taxes and types. It's a pretty great tool. You can even narrow it down by items that have different options. So if you wanted to find all the items that had a variable price, you could simply select variable price and select find and it would show you, it would display all the items that had a variable price. Pretty handy tool. So now if you thought you were going to want to use a filter over and over, or let's say use it to apply a discount, you would want to create the filter and save it. So let's say we're going to create a discount where we give 10% off of appetizers um, Monday through Thursday when a customer orders Miller Lite, Bud Light, or Coors Light. We're going to need to create a menu item filter for both our beers, the three beers in particular, and our appetizers. So let's go ahead and do the beers first. We're simply going to go into find and select an open filter. I have filter 18 down here available and we're going to go ahead and name this and I'm going to name the filter beer slash app discount. Okay. Now I can't do this by report group or canvas because it's not going to narrow it down enough. So I'm actually going to have to create this by menu item. So under the type here, simply going to go down to menu item, select that, and then in menu item I'm going to go ahead and go find my Miller Lite. So I'm going to scroll down here and select Miller Lite. And I'm going to repeat that process for Bud Light and Coors Light. So I'm going to go ahead and select Menu Items and scroll down and find Bud Light. And there's Bud Light. And then finally I'm going to select Coors Light. Okay, so I've created my filter, I've named it, i put my three items that I want in the filter in there, make sure that they're marked as include, obviously that's a default, but later on I could come back here and say, okay, I'm not going to include Bud Light anymore. However, in this case, I do want to include it. I'm going to go ahead and hit save, and then when I select find, you'll see that my three items appear here. Now for the appetizers. Let's go back into find and open and find an open filter. We've got seven open here and we're going to name it appetizers. 
I can do the appetizers a couple different ways by menu item, by selecting every menu item. I think that would be a little bit tedious. Uh, I can do it by report group or I can do it by canvas. I'm going to go ahead and do it by canvas. I'm simply going to select canvases. And then over here under item, I'm going to select the appropriate canvas. If I can find it. Apps. And then I'm going to click select save. And you'll see when I select find, all my appetizers appear. Now if we wanted to, we could go ahead and create the discount. We could use these two menu item filters that we saved. You see when we select find, we have our new appetizer menu item filter. And we have our beer appetizer discount filter. So we could definitely go and create that discount. However, that is for a different video. Uh, but that is how you create a menu item filter. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay focused.